the ray diagram and the types of image. The nature and size of the image formed by the concave mirror depends on the distance of the object from the mirror, as explained in the following sections. You can see that for concave mirrors, so we have a few cases. Uh, this case, you see we have F and C, okay? So uh, then we have a pole here, P. We have a P here, okay? So you see the image is in between P and F initially, okay? Case one. Case number two, the image is at F. And case number three is in between F and C. Case number four is at exactly at C. And uh, case number five is uh, the distance is after C. Yeah? The distance is longer than the uh, radius of the curvature. So at different positions, the image, the characteristics of the image will be different. And the ray diagram also different. Eh? Okay. So let's see. Uh, you see, uh, after this, I, I'm going to give you the ray diagram, okay? I'm going to give you the ray diagram, and uh, you can draw the ray diagram here. So I'll show you the first one, how to draw the ray diagram. Okay, so let's see case number one. So we have a mirror here, concave mirror. And then the concave mirror, and the, there we have an object. This object is placed in between the pole and the principal focus. Principal focus, huh? And then uh, we use a blue lines to to represent the reflected ray and the uh, orange lines to reflect uh, to indicate the incident ray. Yeah? Okay, so they tell you that uh, u is less than f. Okay, now what is u? U is the distance of the object. Yeah? U is the distance of the object. So the distance of the object from the mirror. This is called u. Yeah? And uh, how about f? F is the focal length. This is F. Huh? This is F. So you can see that in, in this case, uh, U is less than F. Huh? The distance of the object is less than the principal focus. In this case, okay, so how to draw the ray diagram? Okay, first, okay, the light ray is parallel to the principal axis. And if it's parallel to the principal axis, then it will be reflected passes through the principal focus. Okay, let's erase this. Eh? So that is rule number two, right? Parallel to the principal axis, it will be reflected, passes through the principal focus. Rule number two. Uh, then we extend the line because uh, we, we uh, because later on we need to find the positions of the image. Eh? Okay. Okay, rule number three. If the light ray passes through F, or it's come from F, eh? if you extend the line okay you'll find that actually it come from f so if uh passes through f okay or come from f then the ray will be reflected parallel uh, okay you see it has a, it has a line okay so the ray come from the f okay it will be reflected parallel to the principal axis okay and these two reflected ray uh this it, 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 it do not they do not converge yeah? they do not converge so we have to extend the line to the back of the mirror so then so you see the point where they intercept with each other this is the positions of the image huh? so this is the image and from here we can see that this image is bigger than the object huh? so the image is behind the mirror uh, if the image is behind the mirror then it's virtual huh? so the image form is magnified magnified means it's bigger upright and a uh, virtual because it's behind the mirror behind the mirror is virtual eh? so that is the characteristics of the image uh, the characteristic actually is uh, is given the characteristic is given upright virtual bigger inside bigger in size means uh, magnify eh? okay you can use the word magnify so in your notes uh, how to draw the ray diagram how to draw the ray diagram first the ray parallel to the principal axis Okay, it will be reflected, passes through F. Second, if the ray come from F, it will be reflected parallel. Okay. Uh, this one you can erase. Huh? So you see the light ray does not converge, so we have to extend to extend it to the back. And uh, where it intercept is the positions of the image. Okay, so this is the image.
Okay, so it's upright virtual and magnifier. Bigger in size means uh, magnify. So let's write here, magnify. Uh, okay, this is a case where uh, the distance of the object is in between F and R. This is uh, F and this is R, okay? So this is between these two. Uh, the first rule, okay, parallel to the principal axis, it will pass through the principal focus. Uh, pass through the principal focus, it will be parallel, okay? Parallel. Eh? Uh, okay, so this is the image. And uh, from here, we can see that the image is in front of the mirror. Eh? So if, it, if it's in front of the mirror, it's real. Eh? real. So the image formed is magnified, it's inverted. Okay, so this object, so you can see that it's inverted and it's real because it's in front of the mirror. Okay, uh, this one just cancel. Okay, this one just cancel. From here we can see that it converts here okay so the image is here now sometimes some students may ask how do we know this is a tip of the arrow how, how do we know the arrow is not like this it's not upright like this now that is because you see the light is come from the tip of the mirror sorry it's the tip of the object uh, so since it's the tip of the object, uh, so the image, uh, when you form the image, this this must be the tip of the image also, uh, the tip of the tip of the arrow also. So you cannot put the tip here. So that's what we get. If it's the same as mine drawing, means it's correct, and that's very good. Okay, that's the first time that you draw this ray diagram. Okay. So here we use rule number two and rule number three. Rule number one cannot use because uh, when you use C, uh, then it's it's out. It's it's uh the the light ray is out of the uh, range of the mirror okay you cannot touch the mirror so we cannot use that rule okay so this is a case where the object is at the centers of the curvature okay so by using the second rule okay parallel to the principal axis the reflected ray will pass through the principal focus and then we use the third rules where the light ray passes through the principal focus then it will be reflected parallel to the principal axis and uh, you will find that the image is exactly below the object. Distance of the object equal to the distance of the image. If you do not get this, means you are wrong, okay? The, the image must, must be exactly below the object. And uh, the characteristics from here, we can see that they are same size, uh, inverted, same size. And uh, since it's in front of the mirror, this is a mirror, is in front of the mirror, so it's real, eh? real. So the characteristics of the image is same size, inverted, and real. Same size, inverted, and real. Eh? Okay, um, next one. Okay, when the object is placed uh, further than C. Eh? By using the second rules, parallel to the principal axis, it will be reflected, passes through F. And uh, passes through F, it will be reflected, parallel to the principal axis, and uh, it converts here. So therefore, the image is here. So we can see that the image is smaller, smaller than the object. It's inverted, and then uh, it's in front of the uh, mirror, so it's real. Eh? Okay, so the image is smaller, inverted, and real. So you see, uh, we have so many characteristics of the image, right? Yeah, the characteristics of the image is different when the object is at different places. Uh, so uh, how do we remember this? You need to memorize this, uh, okay? All of this you need to remember. So how do we remember that? So we can remember by you with the help of this chart. Uh. So you see, uh, this is a mirror. In front of the mirrors, I divide it into three sections. This is F, and this is C, and then we have section one, section two, and section three. And then so you, the first things that you, uh, the the very first thing that you need to know that is if the object is placed uh, inside section one, including F, huh? if the object is in section one, including F, the image is virtual and upright. If it's at uh, section two and three, then it's real and inverted. So all, all the distance less than F is virtual, upright. If it's uh, greater than F, is real and inverted. So this is the first thing that you need to memorize. 
The second thing that you mem need to memorize is uh, when the object is at C, the size then uh, the image is same size as the object. Less than that, okay, less than uh, uh, smaller than C, okay, then it's magnify. Okay, greater than C is diminish. Diminish means smaller. Diminish means smaller. So you try to remember this. Huh? After you remember, this is easier compared to the, the five cases. I try to remember this one by one. Is, uh, okay. So use this charge is easier. So therefore, therefore, if somebody tell you that if the object is here, you put an object here, uh, then straight away, okay, the image, the object placed here, the image form is what? Is virtual, is upright, and is magnified. Okay, straight away you can tell. It's magnify, it's virtual, and it is upright. Okay, magnify, virtual, upright. Okay, how about if we place the image here? We place the image at F. So the image, we place the object at F. And so the image form is what? Okay, remember, it's, it's still magnify, right? It's, it's magnify, okay? So at this point, uh, okay, at this point, uh, the image is still virtual and upright. Uh, if it's at F, uh, it's still virtual and upright. So the image form is magnify, virtual, upright. And it forms at infinity. Uh. How about if we place the object here? If we place the object here. Okay, so the image form is still magnify. As long as it's less than C, it's magnify. Uh. But then uh, it's real. F and less than F is virtual. Okay, more than F is become real. Uh, it's real and inverted. Real and inverted. Eh? So it's magnify, real, inverted. Okay. Then how about here? If you place the object exactly at C. So if we place here, it's neither magnify and it's neither diminish. Uh, is same size as the object. Same size. Eh? Okay. But it's real and inverted. Eh? Real inverted, same size as the object. Okay, same size, real inverted. And how about if you put the object here? Okay, so then from here we can see that it's smaller, diminished, real inverted. Okay, diminished, real inverted. So you can use this chart to help you to uh, remember the characteristics of the image yeah? okay and then for your information you can't find this chart in any book okay you can't find this chart in any book okay? that's only in my notes